Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we have these awesome uh, warp animations, uh, warp app animations uh, all inside Adobe XD. Uh, there, won't, there will be one or two resources that we pick from outside. So both of these ha uh, are like a warping animation. One is like this circular warp and this one is the most interesting one I feel is this warp in from the side which looks pretty damn cool to be honest and uh, without further ado let's get started with the actual design um, so first of all i will start by making a simple artboard so a um, iphone 6 7 and 8 artboard just a very simple artboard and um, what i'll do is i'll just copy quickly copy over all these elements which i need to place onto the screen from uh, this original design so that we have a base design ready to use. Now, um, let's create a, a entry point first of all. So for that, what we're gonna do is gonna create an ellipse right here. And using this ellipse, we will create the button that we have to. So let's first of all, I will save the gradient here. So I'll just quickly create this here. And um, I've also saved the arrow right here. So I'll quickly copy and paste it inside this. So uh, first of all, I will be giving all the resources in Adobe XD, XD file down in the description so you can go ahead and download it. So here what I'm going to do now is use the pen tool. You can pick up the pen tool from the left panel right here. Um, and here what I'm going to do is from the top edge of this circle, I will put one anchor point here, click once here, and I will uh, just make sure that this goes uh, straight up like this right so just make sure it goes straight up and make it join somewhere here so it's kind of like a triangle that we're trying to create and uh, put it on the border like this and you know it doesn't have to be like super accurate just make sure that it's in the middle of the circle and we'll connect it like this now again there are no curves here so what i'm going to do is quickly just select the anchor points and double click on these anchor points to create a basic curve on each of these i'm just going to double click and most of the work will be done by this tool uh, and i'm just going to make sure it's all circular and uh, this as well i'm going to edit a little bit make sure it's towards the edge and also make sure that this is not it doesn't become like a weird jelly effect so just make sure that the curves are precise pretty good pretty good to be honest and this one also I'll place closer and make sure that the curve is even on both the sides now we have something like this which I'll put in the gradient just like this so now comes uh, the simple part so what I'm going to do is select the circle here and this uh, kind of figure that we have created this shape and just gr uh, make this a union by clicking this add tool on the right here if I click this it'll make it one element so what I can do now is just shift this circle slightly towards the inside and make sure that this arrow is also you know towards the middle of this perfect now that we have this design ready uh, we will duplicate this entire artboard just select the artboard and say command D to duplicate it and um, what I'm gonna do here is very simple. So um, I will be making some edits with this uh, curve here. So what I'm gonna do is, since we have all these anchor points ready, what I'm gonna do is just expand these anchor points like this as such, and you know, make sure all these anchor points move together just like that. So make sure that these anchor points stay in place wherever they are or wherever they were and make sure that only these anchor points kind of expand. What you can do is, uh, you know, also make the border radius a little more by just double clicking here as well. If you want it to be a little more curved out and just, you know, randomly place it outside the artboard like this. Now we have this entire area being covered. Um, what, the last thing that I'm going to do is just rotate this arrow and place it closer to the left so that you know it's it acts as a back arrow now and i'm just going to quickly put another circle which is actually a white circle and i'll remove the border and reduce the opacity to about 15 percent 
make sure that this comes behind the arrow. Perfect, so this becomes our back, simple back button. And inside here, what I'll do is just place in some text. So I'll just drag the text tool like this. And first I'll just write some random text. You can't see it because it's the same color, but I'll make it white. So this is some random text here. And I'll go to the plugins panel on the left. And here I have a plugin called Lorem Ipsum, which will just add some placeholder text, insert text and it'll add the text for us. So this is a medium, let me make this a regular, seems a little more, you know, believable. And I'll just keep it right here. So now is the time to animate this. If I click on this circle here, what I'll do is just drag this arrow to the right uh, artboard, say tap, transition, I'll change to auto animate, uh, ease out in about hmm, 0 0.6 seconds, I think should do it, and fix position when scrolling. That's it. Now we will just go to this uh, play icon on the top, which is desktop preview. And if I click on this arrow, see how it smoothly animates. And if I want to, it to come back, I'll just click on this circle and make this arrow come back to this first artboard. So that was a cool animation. I'm just going to create another one and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So uh, if I click on this, I'll just delete this portion because that's not what is required. And I will just create a quick rectangle uh, uh, which will act as an overlay over this artboard. Perfect. And what I'll do is now change the color to this uh, purplish, uh, more like a grayish blue, but towards the purple side. I'm not sure how to. This is, um, if somebody knows what exactly this color is, this might be an indigo. To be honest, it could be indigo, but let's see what you guys come up with. Um, so that's all we needed for this. We will now create ellipses. So this is a slightly trickier process. For, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just create one ellipse, remove the border, and I'm going to use a plugin which I have already downloaded, which is called Confetti. This is free of cost. You can download it and it creates random confetti across the screen with just one element. So what I'm going to do is just say 12 by 12, right? Or maybe 12 by 15, something like that. And I'll uh, randomize the scale from 50 to 100. That's fine. And let's not fiddle with anything else here. And I'll just run this. Now that we have all these random circles, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to lock everything else because you know, when I'm trying to select all of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, uh, the first lips and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the last circle. So now every, every circle is now selected. Now what I'm going to do is go to the plugins panel right here and I have a plugin which is called rename it and I'll say rename selected layers and I want it to be a number sequence ascending and starts from one and I'll rename in this. Now also let's keep a count. There are 180 circles. Remember that number. So now that we have all this, what I'm going to do is select one to 180. Just by holding shift, I can select all of these and I'll create a union. Again, add, click on this add button and it'll create a complete union, which is called union four. Now what I'm going to do is select the background rectangle and the union, and I'm going to say control shift M. Now, as you can see, all of these are now a part of this, right? So what I'm going to do is quickly before I do anything else, I'll put the same text that I put in this earlier one. And that's it. And I'm going to put this text in here. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is select uh, just group the rectangle and the text. So c command or control G. That's it and put it behind all of these circles. Perfect. And before I do anything else, I'll just duplicate this artboard. So we have two artboards of the same attributes. Now I will click the background group and this these circles and say command shift M to mask over this. See how cool this is. And I'll just reduce the opacity to about zero. Now the second thing I'm going to do here is now we have this union. I'm just going to delete this union for that. I'll just copy one of these circles over. I'll delete this union. So I'll just create another white circle here and I'll use the plugin confetti again. And here I'll say 12 by 15, what we did earlier, but 
I will randomize the scale uh, for about 600 to 800, uh, you know, percent scale of the original. And there'll be these huge dots here, right? Now that is the trick. That, that is how these circles will expand into these big dots. So what I'm gonna do is select 91 to 91 apparently. They're all the same name. No issues we'll get over this. And I'll make sure that it in, is somewhat in the center. Perfect. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, quickly go to the plugins panel back to the plugins panel and use the pl uh, plugin rename it and say rename selected layers and we're going to do the same thing since Adobe XD requires all the artboards to have the same attributes for auto animate to work we'll use number sequence ascending and starts from one and here we go all these numbers are till here and remember the number of uh, you know these circles here was till 180 so make sure there are 180 circles here. Anything above that, you just delete, okay? So we have 180 right here, and we will just select all of these by holding shift and just add them together as a union. So select the group 13, which is the rectangle and the union, and make sure first of all that the union and the group's names are the same. Go back here and select union four and group 13. Here it should be union four and group 13. So union four and group 13. Select both of these and say command shift M to mask them. Perfect. Now let's prototype this. So if I click anywhere on this artboard, this should appear. So tap auto animate and ease out. And I'll say 0 0.6 seconds again. And I'll play this and let's test this out. If I click here, uh oh, there is a small problem. What could that problem be? Let's figure that out together here, should we? Now here we have a mask group two. Here we have mask group three. So first of all, change the name to mask group two. Now let's try this out. So if I click here, see how the circles animate? And I can click and I can create a better animation just by making sure that all the items have the same exact name, right? Rectangle five, we have rectangle five here as well. If I look into this, we have rectangle five. So everything is the same. I can change the prototype a little bit to have about um, say one second and snap. That will look better. So go back and click anywhere. See how the circles just come in. And it looks like a good kind of uh, animation which kind of blends in, right? See how th that's, that's pretty cool to be honest. So that was today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon because I post every Monday and Thursday for sure. So I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.